o prophecy ya pray in america california in wednesday night 5 pm of march 31 2021 is shooting a prayer just owner of the business that was targeted he tells kcal 9 he still can't believe this happened and he has no idea why the alleged gunman went on a rampage there the shooting happened at unified homes a real estate business located on west lincoln avenue and north glacell street tonight kcal 9 stacy butler spoke with the company's co-owner in an interview you'll see only here on 9 never in our wildest dreams did we ever think any of this would happen. We are as shocked as everybody else to find out that it was him. Alec Torres is the co-owner of Unified Homes. He was out of the office during the rampage and was close with everyone who was murdered or wounded. He is stunned to learn that 44-year-old Aminadab Gonzalez Gaxiola is the suspected shooter. He was not an employee. He had no sales, no nothing to do with the company. He was the husband of an ex-employee. There was never any bad blood he just was a very quiet person. Alec Torres says two years ago, Gaxiola's wife quit Unified Homes, then asked for her job back. But her position had already been filled by his partner's daughter. They've had no contact or dealings with him for two years. Police say Gaxiola carefully plotted his attack, locking the gates to the office complex with cable bike locks. Officers recovered a semi-automatic gun. In his backpack, they found pepper spray, ammunition, and handcuffs. According to Orange County court records, in 2015, Gaxiola was charged with child abuse and endangerment, assault with a deadly weapon, dissuading a witness, and battery. It just does not make sense. I mean, it's like, wake me up from this nightmare. Torres had no idea what could have suddenly sparked Gaxiola to allegedly go on a shooting rampage in his office. Torres, like all of the friends and family of the victims, are living another nightmare. The agonizingly long wait for the coroner to identify the victims. Nothing official has been said to any of them. Whatever the investigation is can continue, but just let us know who's alive and who's not. Police say Gaxiola was living in a motel nearby and drove here in a rental car. He faces a series of charges and is expected to be arraigned from his hospital room tomorrow. In Orange, Stacy Butler, KCAL 9 News. Fighting